Do you think you know all there is to know about the cash value that's built inside of your final expense policy? By the end of this video, we're going to tell you all about it, how it works and why it's there so you can make the best decisions moving forward before you sign on the dotted line. My name is Alejandra and my name is Amber and we are the founders of Legacy Ladies and if you want the best advice in how to grow your legacy and protect it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell below so you can get notified when we post new videos. So to explain what it is and how it works, we actually created a short video for you. So hold on tight and be ready to learn. When you have a policy, you pay monthly premiums to, let's call it company X. Those premium dollars get split into two sections. The first part is the cost to insure you and the second goes to your cash value. Now, this is a chart we grabbed off the internet. It is not perfect, but we will fix it. Here you can see money in the Y axis and time down below on the X axis. Next, you'll see your level premiums you pay every month. Then you will see your cash value growing and growing just like it should. Now here's what that pretty little chart from the internet didn't say. Your premiums never change, but the cost to insure you is constantly rising due to your age. In order to keep your level premiums, the insurance company takes some of the cash value to supplement your premium payments. So in the beginning of your policy's life, you'll be paying more than the cost to insure you so that there's enough money available for you later when the costs are more to insure you than what you're paying each month. Well, now you know what the cash value is for when it comes to final expense policies. That's enough of that. Let's go back to us so we can go over your other options. Now that we uh, have learned of what it is, so leave a comment below and let us know what types of life insurance you have and if you would like to learn about any other type of life insurance. So stay tuned for new videos that give you the scoop on all the different types of life insurance and how they work. Also, check out one of the links in the description below. We actually created a really cool final expense estimator worksheet that you can download and actually use yourself. So if you are wanting um, final expense insurance and aren't sure where to start, how much you need is probably a good place to start. Now let's get back into the cash value. Some cool features that are built into the cash value is that you can actually take a loan from it. So instead of having to borrow from a credit card or a bank, you can actually borrow from your cash value. And um, what that means is you have an extra line of credit that's available for you and your family now. And um, the interest rates that they give you are usually much lower than the bank. All right, option number two is you can actually do a 1035 exchange. So due to a variety of factors, a policy owner may feel that the current life insurance that they have no longer suits their needs, and that could be for a variety of reasons. So in this case, what you'll want to do is a 1035 exchange, which is a take the cash value and put it for a like-for-like -like policy without incurring a taxable event. So it looks like the money never came to your hands. All right, so again, a 1035 exchange uh, provided certain requirements and it gives a policy or contract holder the flexibility to kind of trade in um, their older contract for a newer policy. And that newer policy could have, you know, lower costs, higher death benefit, or more investment choices. So if you would like to get final expense insurance, don't forget to click the link below to become our client. And also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And don't forget to protect yourself and protect your legacy.